Your labels look like this, however you want them to look like this. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and we have been going so hard on printer stuff. Today is no different. We're gonna be solving a specific problem that I get questions about in the YouTube comments and on Instagram all the time. I just got this thermal printer. I'm super excited to get it hooked up. I print a label and it looks like this. Your postman is not going to be able to read it. It's not going to scan. You're frustrated. Your labels keep coming out sideways and small and only on half of the thermal label. Well, it's not the printer's fault. It's not your fault. It's just a settings issue. We're gonna go over why this is happening. I'm going to show you that it is not your printer's fault. It is simply a settings issue. And I'm gonna show you how to fix those settings in specific platforms. The reason that it's coming out sideways and small is because you're sending an eight and a half by 11 document to the printer and it's scaling it down to four by six, basically shrinking this image and just printing it on a four by six label. Because most people have normal inkjet or laser printers that print eight and a half by 11, most platforms will just default to eight and a half by 11 unless you go in and change the settings yourself. Once you get the settings fixed, you will be able to get print out this beautiful four by six label. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and change the settings on Etsy, Poshmark, PayPal, eBay, Amazon, Pirate Ship, in order to get the 4x6 label format. At the end of the video, I'm going to show a workaround that you can use in order to print 4x6 from a non 4x6 document. Maybe a label that you already have or a eBay return shipping label because eBay doesn't allow you to print return shipping labels in 4x6. They only come out in 8.5x11. Other platforms such as Mercari and Depop do not have 4x6 label settings yet. So you have to do this annoying workaround in order to print 4x6 labels if you wanna print on a thermal printer with those platforms. That being said, let's get into the computer. I'm gonna show you guys how to change some settings. The first platform we're going to change the settings on is Poshmark, which defaults to eight and a half by 11 printing preference. So in order to change it to four by six, you're going to hover over your picture, your avatar, and then go down to account settings over here to shipping label settings and you're gonna change it from eight and a half to four by six. On Etsy, you're going to go to the settings over here and then you're going to press shipping settings. You're gonna to go to shipping label options, scroll down a little bit, it will say download preferences and you're going to say format four by six and then you're going to hit save. On eBay, you're going to pick an order that needs to be shipped. And in this shipping page, you're gonna see down here, it says eight and a half by 11. You're gonna hit change. You're gonna change it to four by six, and then you're going to hit save. Also on eBay, if you don't have an active order, you can go to my eBay selling, hover over orders, go to shipping labels, pick any order that's on here, go to more actions, print another label and then you can change your settings here and then just hit save and then X out of that label. You don't have to create a label, it's just changing the settings. On PayPal, you're going to hover over your name and go to account settings. You're going to go over to shipping, shipping preferences, update, and then shipping carrier, change printer type, and you're going to want to change it from laser inkjet to one of these four by six options. Shouldn't really matter which one you pick, it's just the dimensions of the PDF. I think they're just naming printers to make it a little bit easier. And then hit save. On Amazon where you're buying shipping for your order, you're going to pick label print orientation, four by six PNG, or four by six PDF with a packing slip. The four by six PDF with a packing slip is what I prefer because it will print both the shipping label and the packing slip on your thermal printer with two labels being used. And on Pirate Ship, where it asks you to print the label, if you click this drop down right here and change it to four by six, 
it will format it for four by six thermal printing and you can hit print and it will save that setting for default next time. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to do a workaround on an already formatted eight and a half by 11 document where you wanna send a four by six image to the printer. In order to do that, you're going to need Adobe Acrobat Reader. It is a free download. I will put a link to it in the description. It's available on both Mac and PC. And once you have that software, you're going to right click or two finger click on a Mac, open that document with Adobe Acrobat Reader, go to edit, take a snapshot, highlight the label and go file print or command P, pick your thermal printer and make sure your page setup is four by six, which I have mine as a custom setup right there. Make sure the dimensions are four by six. If it's giving you any problems or cut off, you can mess with actual size or custom scale and scale it down to maybe 90%. This should allow you to print anything that you select that's somewhat in a four by six dimension into a four by six format. This is what you're gonna have to do on Mercari, Depop, eBay return labels if you want to print it with a thermal printer. That's the workaround until those platforms build something into their code on their side where they can make a setting like every other platform has. So that's how you fix the small sideways problem with your thermal printer. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up or if you have any specific questions of, or problems that you want solved, please put them in the comment section and I will try my best to help or create a video showing you how to solve that specific problem. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.